place to escape to. But we did a Wonka review on Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, and Tuesday, Pancake Day. In it. And today we are going to be doing a song ranking Aww. of Wonka, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> um, so, there are nine songs. <laughs> there are nine songs in Wonka. Um, so, just to clear, we're not doing any of the score, although, special shout out to 500 Monks and a Giraffe. Ooh, Ooh giraffe. Because that giraffe. is actual giraffe. comedy. But we are doing the nine main musical number songs. From nine all the way to one. And we're going to talk a little bit, obviously, about We're not just going to read them out. We're going to give our thoughts and feelings. If you want to see our review on characters and the plot and the overall vibe as well as our sort of talk about songs go and watch our review here we parker here was also in that i was there parker seems to be taking over the channel the last yeah. three videos have all included parker uh but you guys seem to like parker so we'll keep thank parker you the for liking so, me number nine yeah number nine is sorry noodle and the reason for that is just a i, I swear it's like 20 30 seconds long yeah it's not very long i get why we need it it's a nice little bit of character for Wonka. But when you compare it to some of the other songs, it's just... It's the weakest. But I feel like we should preface it. Do you want to do our preface quickly? Preface a lot. Preface. Um, preface then. I like that. I'm going to do it. That's good. Um, just because they are low <laughs> down does not mean they're not good. It they're just... Down. No. No, that's not, that's not the point of the preface. Sorry. You've ruined the preface Sorry. now. Do it again. Preface alert! Just because the songs are low down does not mean they're not bangers. Uh, you can be at seven and still be a banger. Because all of these songs are incredible. Like, all of these songs are great songs. So th this is just, you know, the, the, it was a hard ranking. This is just... They're all good songs, okay? Calm down. And you can have an opinion, but we are the definite opinion. But you can have your own opinion. It's okay to be wrong. Uh, Parker, what's number eight? Number eight is... Now, let's be honest, the Oompa Loompa format of songs is a very fun format of songs. Like in the original, it's the same. I've like got a right. tragic tale for you. Uh, da, da. And they've got deep voice, Augustus Group, Augustus Group. And obviously, yeah, you, you needed to have, you can stop doing that now. <laughs> you can have the, the Oompa Loompa song in there. They kind of, you kind of needed it in there. Again, it's not very long. It's fun. I enjoyed his nice little, little reprise of a, a, a premium economy. Oh my god. Oh yes. That was good when you bring the case on. Yeah, this is not... I go first class. Yes. If I were you. Um and Yeah, like it, it's fun. Seeing his little dance, you need to have you need to have some sort of reference to it. And that's kind of all it was. It wasn't this big wow, it was like, yeah, this is fun. I'm glad we've got this. Number seven is For a Moment. Now, I've seen a lot of people's rankings putting For a Moment in the top five. It's a good song. Of course it's a good song. And I love... I am a Preface sucker. Alert. I am a sucker for an overlap. Overlaps are... Long-term viewers of this channel who used to watch my musical content will know how much I... Blood, there are two things I love in this world. Well, <laughs> two things I love in this world. That is an act one finale... And that is an overlap. Lovely overlap. Well done. Um, and I do like Calla Lane's little bit at the start as Noodle and the, oh, I forgot to be sad. And sort of, yeah, it, it, it's a fun song, but I don't know why it's being so high up in people's lists. Do you have anything to say up for a moment? I think it's very well done. Child singer, you did a great mm, job. Calla Lane. Like, Huh? Calla Lane. Thank I you, I didn't know her Carla. name. Calla, Calla Lane, fantastic job. Like, obviously, this is the first time I think I've heard of her. Yeah, I, I, yeah. This, this is probably a breakout role. Incredible, incredible performance, in both singing and acting, in, in the song and in general, so... And also you've got the bit on top of the building with the balloons. That's fun. Yes. Oh, it's so Showing like the magic of Willy Wonka. I think it did a very yes, good job. I like, I like the balloon dance. We should probably also say that, how this is not only the song, but also how the song was done on screen. 
Yes. Because as we get further down the list, we might mention it when we get to yes, them. Yes, because there are I a couple of issues. songs that we think. Well, I agree. Could be interchangeable. There's only two songs I think that are interchangeable, and that's and the reason that they are ranked in this way when we get to them is purely based. Is it's more influenced by what they look like on screen mm. as opposed to the song. We'll get there anyway. You guys have watched the film. If you're watching this, um, if not, what are you doing? Apart from. T and a Baron, I think their oh, name is, who sorry, said they don't even need to. No, no, they said on the Wonka review, they're the person who said, we don't, I don't need to oh. see the film, I trust your guys' opinion. Oh, well, thank you, so, T and Barrel. I'm sorry, I just gave well, you, you a question. You can listen to the look. songs without. Yeah, I know. Anyway, <laughs> number six. Wait, is that. Me or is that that's you? Sorry, I'm taking a job. Scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. Now, I love Jim Carter, I think no his name. Abacus Crunch, Downton Abbey Man. Downton Abbey Man. He was great. His little vocals in this were absolutely phenomenal. And it's this and the next song, which we'll get to, which are interchangeable. Yes. This felt like such sort of like a nice, refreshing Easter. Like, is it a traditional musical theatre song? Like, it's not. But it was nice to see, like. There's something about a group of people who have like, this is really hard to explain, it's very weird, but a group of people that are in their own little group and have their own little way of living and have a song, it just, it was lovely. And hearing Jim Carter's scrub, scrub. The bit where Olivia Coleman and Bleacher, I don't know your yes. name, come in at the end. Tom Davis. It's so good. Something like Tom Davis or something. Something like that. It's very good. Very good. Very good. I like, um, I like that. Also, what I was this was pointed out by right. Keep talking quickly about scrub scrub. Oh, I, I need to find a comment. Uh, somewhere it was said that it was supposed to feel like a oh, horrible history. Oh, I was just about to say this. I was oh. just trying to find the comment. Sorry. There you we go. Tell me what to talk Mayhem about. Mayhem Records. Uh, Mayhem Records on the Wonka Review. Uh, so I listened to a Radio One interview a week ago with Matthew Baton and Simon Simon Farnaby, and if it wasn't obvious, Matthew and Simon helped the composers write the lyrics for Scrub Scrub. And Sweet Tooth, after and after the watching movie, they seem so much like Horrible History songs. Scrub Scrub is a very has very Horrible History vibes to it. Uh, you okay? Sorry, Jess is asking questions about assessments. Right, in the best way, it has Horrible History vibes to it, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, again, that's one that seems to be quite low on people's rankings. It's so good. But I really like Scrub Scrub. Number five is the one that we were changing with Scrub Scrub. It's Pure Imagination. Now, obviously, Pure Imagination already is such a wonderful song. Yes. It had to be in this film somewhere. Apparently. I'm glad they put it in the end. Apparently it's in the panto somewhere. <laughs> Shut up. Um, and the, so the reason this is... so we, When we did this ranking, the, that and Scrub Scrub were the two songs that we were sort of questioning... I don't know which one should go where, which should be sixth, which should be fifth. And I think the reason we put Pure Imagination above Scrub Scrub was for the latter half of, of Pure Imagination. <laughs> we have a bit of trouble. Yeah. Where he sings and everything starts popping up around him in the old castle that he's mm. got to be the factory. That was the That bit is crying. just lovely. And then you see like the chocolate water fall into the river and he like is jumping over things and making. That whole bit where he's building the factory around him and Hugh Grant's just like, this is going on, I'm going to grab some chocolate and have a drink. And then, I wish Hugh Grant wouldn't talk through it. That's... Um, he only talks through the first bit. Like, yes. That's my one complaint is he's just... No, I like that what? at the start. He only does two lines, leave the bad alone. Just... Um, but yeah, I think the reason that this is above subscribe is just the, the visuals of it really... Like, it's a good it's a good rendition of Pure Imagination by Timothy. Well done, Mr. Schlammer. But it is massively held up by the visuals if you get everything the building. The nostalgia and, of it yeah. is what bolsters it. Yeah, it's very... It, it was that that made me go, I need a Wonka 2 now. And maybe we'll do a pitch for Wonka 2. Oh, oh keep oh, your eyes open. The Watch this master. space. I don't know what's just gone. We definitely just are. Yes, yeah, yes. The current head master strikes again. Uh, um, <laughs> so, we'll never do that again. Yes, we might do... We will do a Wonka 2... Pitch, electric boogaloo. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Chocolate boogaloo. If shut you know. your mouth now. <laughs> Number four. Stop. <laughs> Number four. Comedy. Hatful of dreams. Are you ever going to be able to just say the name of a song? No. Hatful of dreams. This 
So the first song, the opening song, the first thing we see, honestly set the tone perfectly for the rest of the film. Like it, the opening song was such like had such a Broadway stage opening feel to it that it I don't know, mate, <laughs> that it just absolutely set the tone for this film that was so clearly written as a Broadway feeling like song filled. Like, it was just put it on stage. Perfect. Well, calm down. Don't do it quite Sorry. yet. Can we enjoy the film first? Um, and I like the gradual depletion of the silver sovereigns. That, that is was so, so good. fun. That's incredible. The little chap who keeps scrubbing chasing his boots. off. Yeah, I love him. Just leave me alone. Get that kid an Oscar. But then for you that get part that. Specifically. Then you get the gallery girl, maybe where he walks in. He's like, oh my god, it's just nothing to offer but my chop. I'm like, you can see like the hopefulness. I like the end where he's just dancing to himself and making noise. And that's funny. It's There's funny. no daydreaming. I'm like, that's actual comedy. Self-aware already. I love that. But yeah, no, I think I think showing that the first thing we see of young Wonka ever, and it's this optimistic, I just want to share my chocolate with the world, make everyone happy. And obviously in the back of my mind, we're going, but you killed like seven you children. Killed- What's happened here for you to go from this to nobody goes in or out of my factory and let's kill kids? Like, what? how did we get there? And that's why we need a Wonka 2. Yes. Because I want to know what, what happened to this lovely, optimistic, quirky, imaginative young man to make him a cynical Gene Wilder. Number three, top three. Number three, co- technically combining two songs, is, is you've yeah. never had chocolate like this. Now, I think this is the most famous bit on TikTok is the, well, there's chocolate and the chocolate, chocolate. as it should be. It's, it's a love, the way it like sounds is just... I have one oh, okay. complaint. Hang on. It's not a complaint. What is it? We don't call it complaints on this. Quava We've got one in. There we go. What's your Quava. It's only at the ending. It's where Alison and other comedy man, Alison from Ghost, sorry. Charlotte, Charlotte thank Ritchie. you. Charlotte Ritchie. And the and guy the from other, Taskmaster. Other guy who's going on Taskmaster this year. Been. Has he been in? I think so. I think oh. he's been um, Are getting married. And it's, we have just tied the knot. And it's all because of Wonka chocolate. It should be not alert. Everything else is ochalert. We know. have just tied the knot alert all because of Wonka chocolate. That's so much better. Okay. Sorry, Time nice. for your pills now, Grandad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Uh, but it's so there's two. We were debating whether we do the two songs as the mm. separate ones or just together. Obviously, the first one's a bit short. It was at the jungle near Mumbai, but the second song or the second whatever you want to say, the the, the longer <laughs> one, that whole bit where it all becomes a Broadway show is oh, just so amazing good. It's to watch. A, put like, a sock in it. It's just so fun to watch. That was the moment I was like, this film is incredible. It, yeah. Like, that was the moment I was sat there going. This film is just amazing. <laughs> it's so good. And there's people Chocolate saying, Columbus. oh, it's too silly. It's all, and I'm like, Shut but up. that's the point. If you go into this film, I said this, we were having a conversation with someone in the comments. And if you go into this film going, oh, I'm expecting a really cynical look at Willy Wonka, you know, he's a cynical man. You're not going to enjoy it because that's not the point of the film. You're, you're not if you go into it going, this is a film about a young, somehow magic chocolate maker who loves chocolate wants to share it with the world and is a crazy man and it's a musical then you're going to enjoy it don't go into it expecting a deep story there's no point it shouldn't have a deep story it's Willy Wonka like yeah, it's Tim fun Burton. it's enjoy oh, I, oh, I could you know what there might be why I hate Tim Burton Charlie the what stupid film <laughs> oh I'm getting really right no why we need to stop Cal- Dooku and the only dentist. Good, the only good thing about that film is Deep is Rory. Yeah. yeah. The only good thing about that film is Deep Rory. I love Deep Rory. Nothing else about that film is good. Maybe the Grandpa Joe. He's quite funny. But I think... Where were we? Oh yeah, never had chocolate like this. It was that song that I was like, this film <coughs> is perfect. I love it. This is great. The little... If we don't get on top of it, it, we'll go bust. Chocolate apocalypse. That fits lovely. Like everyone, that felt. You know, I love my Act One finales. There are two songs in this film that felt like an Act One finale, and we'll get to the other one in a minute. But you've never had chocolate like this. Could so I can see that everyone gets their own little bit. 
I can just see that being the... I absolutely love the the way the chocolate cartel just appear. Yes, because it goes back to Keegan, yeah. doesn't it? it goes, yeah. It... I understand that. How, this chocolate is totally true. They, go, they just sort of... Totally true. That's also... <laughs> yeah, the fact that Keegan plays it so seriously. That's, um, I think we said this, I don't get too serious, I think we said this in the review, but why all the characters work so perfectly is because you've got, like, Matt Lucas, Matthew Baton, who are playing, who are, and Rowan Atkinson, who are being absolutely stupid, but then you've got Slugworth and Keegan Michael Key, who are just playing it, not very seriously, but playing it a bit more seriously. So you get this clash of like, They're Michael this Kaney. ridiculous world, and then Keegan Michael Key's going, No, we've got to stop. That my favourite, this should have been the review, my favourite line is when the other police guy takes the thing and he says, But there's deaths and murders. He goes, No, this is our priority. And I'm like, That's just, the, again, it's self way He's going, these, The whole police force is focused on stopping Wonka. And it's, Oh, it's. They, anyway, are, they are Michael Caning their way through the They are. Film. They absolutely are. And it's perfect. To get a Muppets reference. What's number two, Parker? A world of your own. Now, this is the other song that I can see being the act one finale. Um, now, this has gained points for me in the last, like, day. Because I was on TikTok and I saw pictures oh, of yeah. the person building this set. And the whole thing was a practical set. The thing that moved Bring was a practical, back practical like, sets. nothing on that set. Like, some of the sets, they built Lumpenland, but obviously had to have a blue screen for, like, the ocean, even, like, the, the Gary Gourmet, some of that, obviously, to make it the bigger, fair enough. Yeah. This set, there was no, I couldn't see any blue screen in sight. And I was like, honestly, that makes a scene so much better, knowing that he's not jumping up green screen steps. Yeah. It's all there. It's all happening. Mm. Like, it's just... Oh my god. And the way it goes on and it's just seeing it all come together and all the little references like there's the little water fountain, the little boat ride. The like, fact you can eat the flowers. The fact you can eat the well, I eat everything, yeah, I love yeah, it, everything. everything's edible. It, it's just the, the fact that it's a reference to like things later going on that are wrong with the yeah. with the flowers being poisoned. Um the all the like his little helpers, the scrubbers in their little outfits. I think the best thing about this is how it relates back to Wonka. Mm. Like he says, like, uh, what was it? Like a dream that you once... So, something yeah. about like him being young yeah. and dreaming it up. And it now being... Like, it's, it's, it was the sort of like, connects it all back. Yeah. Like, it's, no, no songs and in it, this film were there for no reason, yeah. is the other thing. Yes, they all... Like, there are some musical films you watch, you're like, what is this here. song doing? Yeah. Like, what are you trying to do with this song? It's not moving All of all, these songs not... either moved the story along, mm. moved some characters along... Tell, told you stuff you didn't know before. Yeah. I was like, good, this is all... And this one really helped you connect Wonka's dreams back to his mum as well. Yeah. Because obviously you get that little snippet, but this is... Because at this point he's hoping his mum is there. Yeah. And so why he's singing this song is... He, he wants his mum to be there to see that he's done this. It's really sweet. Because it's such a hopeful song, but you can also... If you listen and pay attention close attention to the lyrics they're really fucking mm. sad like... now if you're clever you've worked out what number one is if you know us at all you've probably worked out what number one is number one is sweet tooth i have seen a lot of rankings on tiktok and i've not seen sweet tooth i don't think in the top three which is incorrect. how is that possible it is all oh, right villain songs are usually the best songs anyway be prepared poor unfortunate souls friends on the other side i'm number one all incredible text rich from Mr. Texas T. <laughs> All those villain songs are perfect. Marley and Marley. You Whoa. can say they're somewhat villains. The whole thing. Oh my god. Oh, just the three of them doing a little kick line as you get into it. We're singing. It's, it's the slapping of the asses out it's of time. It's just perfect. Everything about that song screams camp. It's so and it's just good. everything. It's so good. Like it's when she brings the lights down. Like they've done it. They've got this down to a T. They yeah. have done this so yeah. many times before. This is. I think I said this in the review, but like as part of the LGBTQ community, I have missed having camp as fuck. Villains. Oh, the camp of the villain, the better. It, like it's so good, and like you can't. You just can't beat it. Like the the way that the sass the the looks the the just everything about a camp villain and that 
the way Sweet Tooth was done. Like it's, they all oh. three of them bring something to that song yeah. as well. Like because you've got Matt Lucas's I'm sort of just here having yeah. a great time. Matthew Baton's like I'm an absolute devious little man. And then Slugworth's just he knows he's the shit. I'm so great and you're jealous of me. It's it all works. It's like the classic like true. It's like the three yeah. stereotypes and it's like, it just works perfectly. It's so good. Like they could be the mean girls. They could. They could. It's perfect. And it's all of them get their own little bit, little thing to do. It's so perfect at showing how seriously they take this while being absolutely fucking mental. It's perfect. It's it's just it suits, the best song. It suits the world. It moves the story along. It gives us a banging villain song in the process. And I love the ending. The, oh, deal. Oh, deal. Like the whole time, like, no, that's... 1800 bucks. Oh, oh deal. deal. It's just so good. It's just so... We do a little compilation of you getting rejected. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Um, yeah, Sweet Tooth is the greatest song ever. Yeah. Fight me on it. Put a wall. <clears throat> um, I, 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 I encourage you to yeah. do that. I don't know. Um... Uh, so that is our ranking. Let's go through it one more time quickly. I want to see your guys' rankings in the comments, though. Uh, we can do have another run of that. Your guys' rankings. Your guns. Your guys'. That's what people yeah, say. Yeah, you went, you gun. I actually did. <laughs> I want to see your guys' rankings in the comments below. <laughs> what did you get your head on? My computer. Okay, fair enough. So number nine was Sorry Noodle. Eight was Oompa Loompa. Seven was For a Moment. Six was Scrub Scrub. Five was Pure Imagination. Four was A Hatful of Dreams. Three was You Never Had Chocolate Like This. Two was A World of Your Own. And one was Sweet Tooth. So, thank you for the little... You're welcome. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments your rankings. Yes, do you yeah. agree with us? Uh, do you not? I don't care if you don't. But do you agree with us or not? Let us know any videos you want to see in the future. Uh, Wonka 2 pitch hey, we might do. Chocolate. Why we hate Tim Burton's Sorry. Charlie the Chocolate Factory film. Or maybe just like a general of the g mod around that one. Who knows? Uh, there'll be more Ghosts content. We're going to do uh, watching the best and worst rated episodes of CBS Ghosts at some point. Uh, I'm tempted. We're re-watching Ghosts at the moment, so there might be little reviews of each series. Could be fun mm. as we go. Uh, mm. Thank you for watching. What can they watch here? Uh, the previous Wonka video. And what can they watch there? Something to do with Ghosts. Cool. Subscribe. I have a TikTok.